Hey friends, yesterday we talk about G7, the group of seven or group of seven. Today we are going to talk about G20, group of 20. I have given this title or sobriquet Gulliver 20. Gulliver means uh, mega countries, big countries in every which way. Today we are going to talk about G20. First we are going to talk about tidbits. Founded. G20 was founded in 1999. Today there are 20 nations in G20 group. It started from America, Canada, now almost every nation. India is also there. 19 nations are there and the European Union makes it 20 countries. Chairman is King Salman of Saudi Arabia. Total economic strength of this 20 nation is whopping, invincible, unprecedented. And that is 90% of GWP, gross world product. Whatever the world produces, 90% of these products or 90% of these things are all produced or by these G20 nations. What are their objectives? The primary objective, the chief and the main and the key objective of G20 is to promote economic growth, trade growth, and most importantly, regulating the global finance markets. Global finance market, controlling the promoting the global markets. That market should not have inflation, deflation, stagflation, recession, depression, economic Trajectory must be always astronomical. Currency value should always be real, not surreal. No one should have any kind of currency war between two nations or among 20 nations. This is the objective. So these are the tidbits. Now we're going to go into objectives and elaborate five objectives. That is the only time is permitted to us. Now friends, we are going to elaborate all these five objectives. But these are not only the five objectives that they, means the G20 work on, work on it, but there are much more than five objectives, but since we have only 10 minutes or 10 to 12 minutes of time, we can elaborate only five points. After that, in future, we are going to cover some more points. So first is the level playing field for every nation. Level playing field for every nation means all the 20 nations are equal. Absolutely categorically, equivocally equal. America is, America does not have, we can say lion's share or 80% to say and Bangladesh has 10%, nothing like that. All the nations are equal. Everyone has Equal level playing field means everybody can do the business. Every nation can do the business according to its own potential. It can reap as many benefits as it can. It can. All the markets of 20 nations are open for America as well as India, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, all the nations. There is no any kind of discrimination. There is no any kind of bias. There is no any kind of nepotism, kleptocracy, nothing is there. All the nations are equal, America or Bangladesh, America or Nepal. All the nations are equal, all the nations can play in economy, in the level playing field, and according to their potential, they can make the profit, they can make the dividends, they can make the benefits out of that. That is the level playing first. Second is mutual concern for glory and grievances nation is a glory means a nation is progressing flourishing prospering glorious state every single thing is glorious they are 
taking part in that too. They're going to celebrate the glory of the nation. And if the nation happens to be in any kind of grievances, any kind of pain, any kind of suffering, any kind of losses, then these nine, other 19 nations are going to cooperate with this nation. They're going to rush to the rescue of this particular nation. They are going to exchange their helping hand. And they are going to pull this nation out of the malaise of any kind, whether it's economic malaise or social malaise, political malaise or natural malaise, whatever it is. So this group is with you in thick and thin. 19 nations are with one nation in thick and thin, means in good time or bad time. They are always there. They can help you out in any kind of adversity, in any kind of big situation. Third is expanding in areas such as ecology, pollution, etc. Don't think that G20 is focused about only one thing. And then one thing is economic prosperities, economic gains, economic dividends. No, that is altruistic. That is not altruistic, altruistic. But this group of G20 or the group of 20 nations, they are good world nations. As you can see that they control 80% of the world economy, 80% of the global economy they control. So they even go into, into pollution, controlling the pollution, controlling the ecological damage does not allow, does not permit any nation to damage ecology or air or soil or water, ambience, nothing for economic gain. So they are not only working to gain economy at any cost, at any price, by hook or by crook. It is not their motive. Motive is sustainable economic development means in which everything should su uh, sustain. Economy success succeeds and sustains. Ecology also succeeds and sustain. Fourth point is profound concern for sanctity of life, food security and African development. G20 nations are very much concerned about the global hunger, global starvation, global hunger pain. They have been focused and they have been very much concerned to tackle that hunger problem from the globe by obliterating it. So they are going to go for the food security. They have been trying to achieve food security everywhere from Canada to Australia. Sanctity of life, save life, save human life, save animal life, save endangered species life as well. Don't put anything, anyone on the harm's way. Don't get any kind of harm or hurt for animals, birds, creatures, human. Sanctity of life. Life is very sacred. Life is very sacrosanct. Third thing is African development. So first thing they are very much very closely concerned about is sanctity of life, food security, the African development. There are 54 nations in Africa and each nation is very much in Malays. No nation is we can say has any kind of upper hand in economy. No nation is prospering nation, non-nation is prospered nation, despite having them the most manna of natural heaven. Africa is replete with raw material, but Africans don't have any kind of talent, any kind of potential to put that raw material to work. So G20 is actually focusing, concentrating, paying attention on the African, African grievances, African problems, African dilemmas, and 
try to obliterate poverty from Africa, malaria from Africa, different kinds of diseases like Ebola and AIDS and this and most of the exobiological maladies that we experience have all sprung up in Africa. So they are going to develop Africa as well. So these are the five key objectives of Gulliver 20. If you have any kind of question, please send me the comments, send me the confusion, any kind of question, whatever it is. Don't worry about it. We are going to tackle it together. Okay. That's all time we have for today. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. God bless you.